Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad uh, Paper Matte Edition, and today I'll go over unboxing along with a quick overview of this device. So jumping straight into it, uh, by the looks of it, obviously this comes with a pencil, and uh, this is supposedly what like some different edition, which I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, that being said, this is the 11.5 uh, version of it. There is like a couple different ones. So anyway, let's just cut our way into the box. So anyway, let's just get inside. Then we get the typical Huawei uh, brochure right here with the uh, pedal search. Um, that sounded kind of off. Um, tablet clone and app gallery. So basically what it is is saying uh, we don't have Google services whatsoever. So you will need to use uh, these as a substitute, which is a big downside for a device that uh, probably costs a little bit too much. Now I just get inside of the box. Okay, we get a microfiber, not for sale. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Um, not sure why, why it says not for sale. It's mine. Who the hell are you to tell me what I can do with this? Um, anyway, next we have a charger. So this is a 22 and a half watt charger. Uh, now for people that want to uh, argue that these aren't the same companies, meaning Huawei and Honor, I'm gonna bring the device uh, or tablet called Honor Pad 8, which is already where the device was um, basically when they were separated, you know, like parents tend to get. And you can see we have the same exact box packaging with the same exact charger in the box. Just this one says Honor, while this one will say Huawei Supercharger. They're both 25, 22 and a half watts and they both have the same exact packaging. Uh, you might be bullshitting the government, but you ain't bullshitting me. Can't bullshit the bullshitter. Anyway, um, so next, uh, the device. Oh, Jesus, you can't even like they, they, they like they look almost identical. Uh, so yeah, now you can see uh, we have a matte uh, sticker on the display. I think. Wait, is that a sticker? Oh no, that's not a sticker. Okay, that's interesting. So this is a basically frosted glass on here, which is actually a better than I would say a sticker would be. And obviously this is designed to give you a more of a... Where's my little knife? Where did I toss that? I guess I'm gonna try to... There we go. Um, so this is designed to give you more of a paper-like feel to, the, to using the device and I don't wanna check that out. Come on. Open up. Don't get wedged in there. Ah, there we go. Yoink, there is our pen. Is that something that I'm supposed to remove? I need to like do something to pair it. Uh, oh no. We'll get in here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to? Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna rip that apart. Ah, oh, so it's one of these chargers I'm laying around here. I just pull up that in there. You can see it's blinking green right here. Now camera is picking this up a little bit too much, so it doesn't really look too green. There we go. Can I like use it, please? Any info about it? Okay, anyway, I guess I'm not gonna be using it because it still, I think I need to set up the device to actually have it pair. So that's a bit of a downside. But once you set it up, um, I already had one of these, so I know it should work. Now, when it comes down to the 
the actual feel of this. Let's remove this and put on the other one. So there is a different tip that comes provided with this. The plastic one, that the clear one that comes by default, just seems a little bit too too smooth for at least my my taste. So I want to try the plasticky one. Okay, this is better. Now it's still a little bit too smooth for paper, but it's not bad. Now I have not used any kind of uh, paper ink displays which actually allows you to basically draw on it and write. So I don't have real like point of reference when it comes down to other tablets which might be doing this better. But this one, this one feels good. I, I cannot complain about it. And I really like the fact that the device itself comes with a frosted glass on here uh, to imitate that paper-like experience. Now, this will be also a downside with a frosted kind of display right, like this. Uh, you might see some like content be a little bit more smudgy it won't be as sharp as on other devices that don't really have this kind of frosted display right here. Um, but anyway, let's just get straight into the specifications right here, which um, uh, we have a 11 and a half inch display, as the name would suggest for the device, uh, which is running a 1440 by 22 pixel resolution, 2200 pixel resolution. It is a TFT LCD display with 120 hertz refresh rate, 84.8% screen to body ratio, and a pixel density of 229 pixels per inch. So that's the display. Now moving on into the camera because we just have one at the back, uh, at least just speaking of back uh, alone at the moment. And that is a 13 megapixel uh, sensor that can shoot videos at 1080p 30 frames. And then at the front, we have an 8 megapixel sensor, 1080p 30 frames. That's an ultra wide, by the way, unlike the back one. Now, one thing that I want to point out while using this device or holding it, the uh, bezels right here around the device, the, I think these are metal, they're they're kind of catching your your hand or your finger when it's sliding off of it and not the most like pleasant feeling it just kind of feels a little bit too sharp I would say so yeah it, it just has a little bit of a sharpness right here not much or, that's not a problem on the back as it's by the looks of it chamfered I think that's how you pronounce it which I can barely catch it come on as okay, so you can see right here a little bit of a angle to it so it doesn't actually feel that bad and additionally this is uh, also just kind of one piece so the back isn't slided in kind of like the display right here is so yeah, this just feels a little bit off now if you put on a case on this obviously that stops to be a problem for you uh, but without a case um, it does feel a little bit mm, come on it feels a little bit off I would say Okay, continuing on into the actual insides of the device, we have a 7,700 mAh battery, a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, so that's actually a pretty decent processor in here. Um, additionally, the device comes with 128GB of storage and 6 gigs of RAM at the uh, entry point. Uh, then you have a 128 with 8 gigs, so just a 2 gig more improvement, and then 256 with 8 gigs, so a storage improvement. Um, so anyway, uh, for a device that is probably catering more towards like writing, drawing on it, I would say these are pretty acceptable you know, storages and RAMs for the device. Um, though you probably might want to go with the 256. Unfortunately, you do also need to splurge more for the 8 gigs of RAM, which uh, which might not be necessarily needed for some people. Uh, but obviously, if you need more storage, that's probably the only way to go, as there is no expendable storage. There's actually not a, even a tray on here, as you can see. So, um, that's basically everything that is to, to this device. Uh, now, last thing to mention is the price tag of this device, and it comes at about 300 euros, a little bit below. So, it's honestly, I would say, a pretty okay priced device if it had Play Services. Uh, but that being said, come on camera. Sorry for that. Camera seems to be struggling with finding the in hands. Come on. Hello, right there. Thank you. So, um, 
Price wise, uh, I would say it would have been much better priced at this uh, at this level if it had Google services. Um, but that being said, apparently the um, app gallery, which uh, Huawei has, has improved over the time. So you might not have as much of a problem uh, with finding applications that you might want for this device. And when it comes down to creative work, um, Obviously, there is a way around it if there is no application uh, that you want. Maybe like Adobe isn't here or, or whatever. I don't know. Honestly, never really used it. Uh, so the alternative is grabbing some other device, for instance, uh, a normal Android. Now, I do have a Huawei, an old one that actually still came with the uh, Google Play services, but you can use any other device that comes with Play services and just literally clone that application from the, uh, from the Android device to here and it will work just fine. Or alternatively, you can just look for it on the uh, browser on the tablet itself which at that point you have access to basically every uh, application though keep in mind some applications that require security uh, like bank applications if you download them this way they won't work really so you do need to get them through the gallery in this case and if they're not there you're kind of shit out of luck but anyway with that being said hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching